Welcome back to Fit for Life. We're calling this the Quality of Life Show. Isn't that an interesting title? But any exercises you do with me are going to improve your quality of life, and not just me. Uh, any exercise, anywhere, it's really important. But you can improve, and this is another reason we do strength training. It improves your quality of life. You're able to do more well. And again, for the thousandth time, delay your time of disability. While we're here, let's, let's be in good shape, the best shape we can be, no matter what our age, right? Okay, so why do we do strength training? You know why we do it. First of all, it makes the muscles look a little bit better. Uh, it gives you strength for your daily activities. We, I, I'm a very busy woman. Um, it's good. For how, what about housework? We have to have strength for housework. We're lifting, right? We're cooking, we're lifting pans and so forth. Um, taking out the rubbish. Sometimes that bag is, is very heavy. So you want to be nice and strong. Even grocery shopping. You know, every now and then I get a bag that is really heavy, but that will challenge us. That will improve our strength a little bit. Um, if you notice it's bothering your back, make another arrangement. Get another bag. Um, you know, take the cart out with you. Don't overdo it. You don't want to pull your arms out of a socket or anything, out of your shoulder socket. Um, also, we need, this is the upper body we're talking about now, isn't it? Um, what about your posture? When your muscles are weak, you don't really feel like doing anything. So, and yes, it, it does take some effort, but maybe eventually you'll just stay that way. Um, look at a picture of yourself. Uh, when I look at some of my, my, my shows, my TV shows, I, I can't watch the rest of it because I forget and I look like this and it looks terrible and it's not healthy. It congests everything. All your internal organs are all squished. So you want to try at least um, for as much time as you can to stay straight. Um, and it improves your confidence. I mean, you feel better about yourself when you're, in, when you're in better shape and when you're sitting up nice and straight. So before we start doing our strength training, and we're using our band today, not the weights, we're just going to do some simple warm-ups and I'm going to stand up. Come forward in your chair, arms out, and just get up without holding on. Can you do that? Wonderful. Warm up. When you warm up, um, do what I'm doing now, or do whatever you think. Sometimes you have your own way of warming up. But just move. So we just lift those arms up. This is one of my favorites. Let's do about eight of these. And three. And they're easy to do. And they work. They're beneficial. They'll keep you in good shape. Get the heart rate up a little bit too. So we'll say six and seven and eight. And now we're going to repeat what we did on the last show. We're just going to do a little running in place to get you moving. Good. Wonderful. Try to do, see if you can do a minute today. It uh, doesn't sound like much time, but uh, when you're doing this, if you're not used to it, you'll feel it a little bit. So then you can just lift your heels up. Lift those heels up. At least you're doing something. It's good for the foot. It kind of massages the sole of your feet a little bit. It bends them a little bit. So that's good, too. It's a nice exercise for the feet. And just go out to the side and the other side. Use your arms out. So we're just warming everything up. Doesn't it feel good? You feel alive. Good. Bye. And it's easy. That's the good part. Good. Once you start exercising, I don't think we mind it as much. It's thinking about it. Who wants to do it? Good. Exercise with a friend. That's good, too. All right. Now you're going to just stretch and stretch and reach. You can call it reaching too. How about up? Good. And how about down? Let's do one more set of this. Straight out. Reach. And really reach. And let's go up and to the other side and down and to the other side. And just kick out one and two and three and four. And if you want, you want to kick a little higher. That's okay too. Up. So we're warming up those legs a little bit. 
and your legs are supporting your body weight. So just standing is good. We don't want to do too much sitting. That happens at night, I know, but just do the best you can. We're going to kick to the back, touch your shoulders. Two and three and four and keep going in six and seven and eight. Put one foot forward and just twist it. One, kind of good for the ankle. Very easy, nothing to it. And five and six and seven and the other side and a one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay, let's stop. We're going to sit down now. We're going to grab our bands. But what I'd like you to do is open your feet a little bit. This is this is a stretch now. Um, well, I suppose you could call it a warm-up. See this hand? You're going to just slide it down the leg and then lift the opposite elbow up to the ceiling. Are you losing your balance here? If so, you can grab a chair, stand behind your chair, and then come back up again. I just like this one because I don't think we do enough of it. Oh, that feels great. Can you feel that stretch there? Yes, you can. Let's do one more set, just for me, because I love this movement. It's a great stretch. And then as we come up, let's take a breath up through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Lovely, lovely. All right, we're going to sit down now. We're going to take our bands. Grab our bands. I'll give you a half a minute to rest. Grab some water if you need to. Now here's my blue band, which is a little touchy, but I really like it. So we're going to use that, okay? And we're going to start with, oh yes. We're going to put, put this under both feet. Put the band under both, kind of in the middle of the foot. All right, and then just walk out. Keep walking out. Lift those legs up. We're going to pull the band back and try to sit straight on this one. Just pulling that band back. Good. Can you feel that? I know you can. And back. And four. Technically very easy to do, and if, if it's too easy, because your band might be thinner than mine, you can wrap the band too, because you want to feel some resistance. You don't want it to be too easy. And we'll say that's eight. We'll put the heels down and just relax for a minute. Good. So we're holding onto the band for every exercise, so we're strengthening our upper body as well as the lower body. So we're going to pull that band back, lift your feet up, pull back again. See if you can pull that band out at all. Now I have a really thick, heavy band, so I have to really work at this. But it tightens your abdomen, and it's good for your lower back too. And yes, and your tummy. And bring those legs back. Now make sure your back is away from the chair. Let's take a breath all the way up through the nose. And exhale out as you pull your feet out. Good. Can you feel that? I can feel it. Oh, yeah, my hips especially. So be careful. But this is good for all of the lower body. And I know you can feel that in your abdomen, your lower back, your hips, and your arms. So let's pull it out again. Good. Slowly, slowly. Hold it and hold it. Good. And then we'll come back. And if it's too much, just wait for us. Take a little rest, grab some water, and try to do, if you can, we'll call this four and just hold it. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. So again, we're working both the upper and the lower body, aren't we? And we'll bring those feet back, heels down come forward and let go with one hand because if you let go with both hands this will be on the floor won't it yes it will and i'm going to give you another one for both the upper and lower body and i think you're going to like this one it's not too difficult 
Grab some water if you need to. Put the band under one foot, one foot like this, in the middle so your toe kind of hangs over there a little bit. Holding on to the ends, you don't have to wrap it this time. You're going to lift up. If you want, you can put your arms right on the arms of the chair. It really helps a lot. And push. Again, I feel that in the quadriceps. Feel it in my knee a little bit. The abdomen. And of course, your arms. Push. And five. I think this one is fairly easy. Now, if you are finding this too easy, this is what you do. You move your hand down a little bit further. It gives you much more resistance. Much more. And yeah, can you really feel that now? So that's what you could do. We're doing another set now. With, you know, holding the band a little bit lower. And boy, I can really feel it in the arms too. Good. All right, let's try the other side. We have two legs. We have to do both sides. Great. I guess it's sticking a little bit still, but it's getting better. Underneath the foot, holding on to the ends, or close to the end. doesn't have to be right at the end of the band. Lift that knee up, arms on the arms of the chair, and... This one's a little easier, I think, so maybe my right side is stronger than the left. Four, the dominant side, right? Five, and six, and seven, and eight. If you want to do ten, go right ahead. Wonderful. Put that heel down and extend the arms out, and I'm going to hold on a little bit lower. Now, if you can't reach, you can just bring your foot back. A little bit lower this time, though. Arms up on the arms of the chair. I'll wait for you. Are we ready? I think we are. Push down one, and two, and three. And this is four. And you're sitting up nice and straight. I kind of forgot myself there for a minute. And seven, and eight. And bring that heel right down again. So that feels pretty good. The next one, I'm kind of going back and forth between arms and legs. And as I said before, um, we're using the arms all the time. But I think this is a good one for the upper body and the arms. Let's take a break just for a minute. Grab some water. A little bit of a rest. How many of you are going to your local senior center? You can take classes just like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, there's a lot to offer. <coughs> I guess I talk too much. All right, I want you to take the band and put it in back of your knees or even up a little bit more. And then we're going to sit back a little bit. Hold on to the ends. Now, I suppose you could rest your arms here if you want. But I think I'm going to leave them out a little bit, and we're going to pull up. One, and two. How does that feel? This one, I can really feel this one. So you might want to hold on at the end, four, but it's tightening everything in your abdomen, um, your torso, up. And I feel it in the upper back, in the deltoids, the shoulders, the trapezius. Uh, the cervical area, that rounding up in the uh, upper back. Wow. I'm wondering if my band isn't shorter than yours, too. But you can also change it just by winding it up or not, whatever you want to do. I think we're going to do this. You're going to wrap the band, wrap one end, like so. You're not going to wrap this end, not right now. Take this hand and cross over and put it on this shoulder. All right, let's wrap it now. Now, hold on to that shoulder. It's not so easy to do, but do the best you can and just pull out. I call this the bow and arrow. It reminds me of a bow. And four. 
and five. And it depends on your flexibility, whether you can keep your hand on the shoulder, because it's difficult if, if you're not flexible uh, in the shoulder area. So keep that in mind. All right, just bring down, relax. Let's drop the chin down so that we can relax the back of the neck, because we've been holding the tension there when we exercise, especially strength exercise. That's what we do. And then you'll bring your head back up. Now take this hand, cross it over, and out to the side again. I'm going to un... just like that. Okay, and two, and three. Can you feel your abdomen tighten when you do this? It just happens naturally. So four, great. And five. And six. And seven. Not bad. And eight. Great. Take your band. Get the kinks out. It may be happening to you too, you know. All right. For the lower body and upper body, here we go. Underneath the foot again. Your right foot, it doesn't matter, either one. All right. And just lift your leg up. You're holding on to the ends. Watch your posture. You're going to pull back a little bit and out to the side. And one. How's that? And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And then we're going to stop. Put the foot down. Relax for just a minute. All right. And you're going to bring that foot up. Pull back, and we're going to bounce one and two, three and four, five and six and seven. Let's do 16, 9 and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So that's easy enough. Yeah. Come forward, let go with one hand, and we'll get ready for the other side. We have to do the, the other side too. And we'll do the same repetitions. We'll do it the same way. OK. Middle of the foot, underneath. We're going to pull back, pull back, sitting up straight. If you want, you can rest your arms out to the side, one or not. Two, good. And three, and four. And you are getting stronger. You don't have to use weights, although they're good especially the strength training machines. They're wonderful, but if you want something that's more convenient, if it's easier for you, you're still getting some benefit. I think we'll do just two more out and out and then heel down. Watch the posture sitting up straight, nice and tall. Let's look up the ceiling. Push your chin up toward the ceiling for a nice stretch there. And then relax, look straight ahead. And then you're going to turn your head to one side. Don't force it, but you know, try to get a little turn in there. Good. And then we'll come back to the other side. Good. How does that feel? And then we'll come back. All right. Now we're going to do straight up and down. One and two three and four, five and six, seven. Let's do 16, 9 and 10, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You know, if you're traveling, it's an easy way to pack these. They don't weigh anything, really. So some people don't want to bring their five-pound weights because that gets to be 10 pounds, and it's kind of heavy to be carrying all that stuff around. Um, I want you to try something else today. Take the band and underneath the legs again, so that would be kind of the back here, the, um, yes, underneath your legs, near your knee, and just open the legs a little bit, look down at your feet, about maybe four inches or so, 
four or five inches. Now my band I think is shorter than yours, but I want you to just tie it. Yours will be easier. As I say, my band is really thick. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hold it. Then I won't have trouble getting the knot out, right? And all I want you to do is just try this with me. I'll wait until you're ready. Good. And you're just going to pull one leg out. Leave that other leg right where it is. Now, if this hurts your hip, don't do it. Just thought we could try something new. Can you feel it here? Good. Four. I don't think it's too bad. I suppose it depends. We'll say six, seven. I hope you like it. Let's try for ten and nine and ten. Good. Let's rest for a minute. Just drop that chin right down. All right. You're going to bring your head back up. You can keep your eyes closed or open. Either one. It doesn't really matter. And then we're just going to look straight ahead. Let's do an ear drop. We haven't done much of that today. And stay here. And then just drop your head down gently. And then to the other side. Good. And then drop your head down again. Oh, a little crunchies in there today. I can feel it. Try the other leg. One and two. How does that feel? And three. Tight, tight here. Four. But keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Wonderful. Let's take our bands off now. Just put them away for now. Um, you can store them in a little plastic bag. And if they get sticky, as I've said before, you just put a little talcum powder if you have it. Um, we used to use a lot more of it years ago, didn't we? And I'm getting my band ready for next time when I use it. You know, when you find something you like and you want to purchase it again, it is sometimes very difficult to find it, the exact thing that you had. And that's, that's the process I'm in with my band here. Let's relax and do nothing. Let's sit back, feet out. Just move your feet back and forth. Just let them flop around there. We're going to drop that chin right down. Good. All right, you can bring your head up. Again, pushing the jaw or the chin, whatever you want to call it, and push it right up to the ceiling. And then let it relax. Now we'll put the feet flat on the floor, open the feet just a little bit, and we're going to drop down. Now you don't have to reach and try to stretch. Just let the, the weight of your body pull yourself down. We're just doing a little bit of stretching now. Good. If you want to touch your ankles, you can do that. So you can feel your lower back stretching. Let's come back up. Um, make sure you're, you've slid forward a little bit. Lift that leg up and then pull in. We've done this one many times. Drop your head forward, good. And then we'll bring the head back up. Let's do the other side. Normally you would hold that stretch much longer. But if we held every stretch for 20 seconds, the show would really be long, wouldn't it? So try to hold any stretch that you do longer than we do on the show. At least 15 seconds, 20 is better. So you would be doing less repetitions, but longer. So pulling that in. And then we're coming back. Now another good stretch, especially for the upper body. Is just clasp your hands together. Palms out. Sitting up straight. And you're just going to push out. Now if you have any arthritis or any soreness or any problems with joints, you might feel this. Just be careful and bring it back a little bit. Let's breathe up through the nose first and exhale out. Wonderful. 
Try to straighten those arms as much as possible. So this is good for the hands and the upper back and the shoulders and the elbows and all that good stuff. Now we're just going to reach up to the side a little bit and bring those hands back. So we're just doing some easy stretching because we've been contracting those muscles. And then we'll bring the arms back. Now something for the lower body. Again, coming forward a little bit. We've done this many times. Just flex those feet back. We're going to stretch those calf muscles now. So it's a stretch and a point. So this is the back of the leg, the lower leg, and this is for the front. Okay, Sitting up nice and straight, good. Just stay here without even holding on. You don't have to hold on. Cross those arms. Grab your shoulders. Nice and straight, good. Okay, now we're just going to go under and over again with the arms again. So you're toning and tightening the abdomen, stretching out the back a little bit, not much. Good. All right. Now for the next few seconds, we're almost done. Time goes fast when we're having fun, right? Just close your eyes. Let's take a couple of yoga breaths to just relax, release and let go. So let's breathe in together all the way up. All the way up this time. Hold that breath for a couple of seconds. Exhale through your mouth as you let your chin drop down. You've done a great job. You've done something good for yourself. You've burned some calories. It's going to be wonderful. You'll be all set for the holidays, won't you? So we'll see you next time, and the next time you see me, we'll be doing our yoga class, so I hope you enjoy it. Have a good weekend. Bye for now.